Our next technique uh, again is going to be actually in Photoshop so I'm going to open up this camera raw image once again into Photoshop. Sorry for that and uh, then we're going to go under image adjustments this time rather than mode so remember that mo the previous one was mode grayscale In this one we're going adjustments and uh, earlier users of uh, Photoshop so uh, the CS2 version uh, I believe doesn't have the black and white feature on it uh, in this version of Photoshop we actually have a uh, kind of packaged uh, way to convert our images to black and white so we are going to select that and again we get a window that comes up that's kind of similar to the window that was in camera raw there and it allows us to play around with some of the tonality in the image like so by moving these sliders and you can see the areas that match what the slider is so the shutters here match the uh, cyan slider and by moving that around we can uh, change the way the tonality is re represented in that and again on the white or I'm sorry on the yellow end of things we could play around that with that a little bit something like that and then actually even on the uh, the red slider here I think we've got a little bit of excitement going on so I'm going to open that up. Now before I open that up, I will tell you that there are some preset uh, formulas for converting black and white. If you go under this preset pull down, we can actually uh, select one of the uh, sort of uh, pre-made Photoshop black and white conversions. So I just selected the infrared one there and you know you can see it's a pretty dramatic one and and maybe one worth considering there so always a good idea just to uh, kind of scroll through these and see what each one looks like if nothing else it gives you some good examples to compare your own images to just go back to the default and again I kind of liked uh, you know where that yellow was just giving us a pretty nice pop in there like a little bit of darkness to our shutters throw a little bit of red in there something like that and we're good to go and again I would always recommend just going into our adjustments here go to select levels and uh, you know we can play around with this a little bit to really tweak that image and get those blacks really popping if you notice in Salgado's work the blacks on his images are really intense and rich so if we're trying to uh, do a technique that's similar to what he's doing, uh, the key here is this little black slider to the left and then maybe even taking the slider in the middle and working with that a little bit to really emphasize the dark areas in the image. 